regarding my troubles a new technique of scleral fixation of IOL retrospective case series by Dr. Deepak Agarwal. Agarwal presenting my free paper on fixing my trouble a new technique of scleral fixation of IOLs a retrospective case series. So uh, scleral fixation of IOLs has advantages for correction of aphakia like uh, the IOL is placed at a more physiological position and it avoids complication associated with ACLs. A new surgical technique has been recently published by Dr. Boral et al. Any new surgical technique needs to prove its reproducibility and safety. The purpose of the current paper is to evaluate the efficacy and safety of Boral's technique for SFLs. In this retrospective case series, uh, included cases where aphakia with posterior capsule, absent posterior capsule, and any case with less than six months where follow-up were excluded. Detailed history and ophthalmic evaluation was performed at all the visits. Post-operative anterior segment OCT was done to for SFL stability at one month and six months. So surgical technique in a graphical representation I'm showing. First, a pars plana vitrectomy was performed, followed by a curved paralimbal scleral flap. Sclerotomies were made by a 25 gauge stroker and only a multi multi piece foldable IOL was used. The IOL haptics was externalized by a 25 gauge serrated forcep and these haptics were, were placed inside a scleral tunnel which was made parallel to the limbus. Paired sample t-test was used to evaluate pre-operative and post-operative uncorrected visual acuity and best corrected visual acuity at one month. P-value less than 0.05 was considered significant. 33 eyes of 32 patients were included. The most common indication for surgery was aphakia after cataract surgery, followed by drop nucleus and various other indications. When we see at the results, the pre-operative, the, there was a significant improvement in visual equity in both uncorrected and best corrected visual equity. This is the graphical representation of the visual equities before and after the surgery. Now, this is, this is a very important slide where we, we are doing anterior segment OCTs through the optic as well as through the haptics. The figure 2A shows intraocular stable Anterior, anterior surface and the posterior surface of the optic and the figure 2B and 2C shows intrascleral haptics which are stable. Now we didn't observe any intraoperative complications. During the entire follow-up period, vitreous hemorrhage was seen in only single case which resolved without any surgical intervention. None of the cases showed retinal detachment or endophthalmitis, hypotony or IL subluxation. Now, uh, our study represents so statistical significant improvement in vision, which was similarly reported by previous authors. So how is this technique different from the previous authors? We made small sclerotomies by 25 gauge stroker. Wilguki et al. used 20 gauge blades for making such sclerotomies. We believe small sclerotomies are advantageous because they have more they decreases the chances of vitreous hemorrhage and hypotony. Vitreous hemorrhage and hypotony was seen in 8% and 4% by Wilkuki et al. Now, how is it different from the Yamanes technique? The Yamanes technique uses a uh, 27 gauge needle to externalize the haptics. We believe that threading of, of threading of the haptics of the IOL into these 27 gauge needles intraocularly is a little difficult and it's uh, more challenging for a young surgeon. However, when we use a 25 gauge forcep, it, uh, it affords a firm grip and is easier to manipulate inside the eye. Haptic dislocations were seen by 2.47% cases in Boral et al. and 13% by Wilgoki et al. Present study reports no such cases of IOL or haptic dislocation. So the limitations of the current study are its small sample size, shorter duration of follow-up and retrospective design. However, the strength is, it is the first study on sutureless glueless SFL from North Bengal. To conclude, Boral's technique of SFL is easily reproducible, effective and safe. However, longer, longer studies involving large number of patients will help in further understanding the safety profile. These are my references. Thank you very much. These cases? Uh, minimum follow-up was six months. 
but it uh, extended up to the 18 months as well okay, the no. largest follow up was for the 18 months no late post operative complication was noted no only and it resolved spontaneously okay. so as the i assumed that the haptic is a pmma yes ma'am so it it was a uh, it, it was a to very to be very frank it was a alcon multi piece lens so did you have any breakage of the haptic while exteriorizing them no madam no uh, at times we uh, at times it is the haptics are larger we might have to cut it with a scissor for better uh, insertion into the uh, scleral tunnels but there was no breakage